Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Luckiest Peach Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel, the Lucky Peach. <sighs> it's another month. Another month that we have to survive. Time flies. It's okay. Life be like that. Wait, how many? Okay, hold on. July. Okay. So this is the fifth month of the podcast. Wow. Uh, um. When I say time flies, because it feels like I recorded the first episode yesterday, um, but that is not true, clearly. Um, yeah, we are back starting a new month. Um, if you don't understand uh, the reference in the title, I am not going to sing the song because I don't want to be uh, copy striked on YouTube, but um, it's every white person's uh, favorite song to listen to. Uh, during the, um, during the equinox. So, um, yeah. That being said, uh, speaking of the 21st of September, um, the monthly review is actually coming out on the 21st, which I think is funny. Um, yeah, I doubt I will make that joke. Uh, <laughs> when we get there again, because I don't want to be copy striped. Um, but do you remember the 21st of September? Y'all remember when Taylor Swift released a cover of that and uh, got a lot of backlash? I still haven't listened to that. One time, though, I was in Nordstrom Rack like three or four years ago, and it was like it was December. And they were playing Christmas music, obviously. And uh, uh, they were they were playing a cover of it, of September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. But it was like, do you remember the 25th or 24th night of December? Something like that. And I hated every second of it. That seems more disrespectful to Earth, Wind, and Fire than the Taylor Swift cover, because uh, whatever group recorded that Christmas bullshit, butchered it. Uh, they changed the words, and how dare they? How dare they? That being said, we are starting a new month. Hopefully, the day that this releases, I am supposed to be starting my new job finally a month later than expected. Uh, actually, over a month after we expected. That's just because the building's new, so it's still under construction. So intricate details. Uh, hopefully, I will have started by the time this episode releases. Um, yeah, uh, but thank you for being here for five months. Uh, we are now on what episode? Uh, episode 23. So, yeah, that's how old I am, actually. I like how I, I was just like, yeah, wait, I, 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 did I just forget my age? <laughs> um, no, um, I was going to say, yeah, I am 23 at the moment. Um, at the moment, what does that mean? I, I don't know. If you've been listening since at least June, you know how old I am because my birthday was in June. Um, as well as 23 is my favorite number. It has been for a long time. I'm not going to get into why because it's embarrassing. I also might have already told y'all why in the during one of the June episodes. I have no fucking idea. I don't remember things. I only recently started taking notes during the movies that I watch for the podcast. So hopefully cold to the month and, um, uh, monthly reviews, at least, will be less messy. I can only hope. I think I already recorded this month's call to the month, though, so you're still getting messy. Um, right? Yeah, I did. I did already record it. That one's definitely messy, but we still talk shit about Roger Ebert, as always. Um, let's see. What's, what's new for September? Um, what's, what's going on? The fall semester has started, uh, for whatever reason, the university I go to decided to go back to in-person, even though it's not okay. You can still get COVID even with the vaccine. Um, so we'll see how long in-person class 
classes last. Uh, what, what what else? It's Virgo season. So happy birthday, Jenna Marbles. We love you. I hope you're doing well. Um, um, I don't really have much to talk about for the beginning of this episode. I usually have a lot to talk about. I don't know. Um, but if you're new here, hi, welcome. This is the start of a new month, which means this is the start of a new cycle of episodes. Um, yeah. Thank you to my patrons at patreon.com slash lucky peach. If you are watching the video on Patreon at patreon.com slash lucky peach, you will notice my hair looks fucking crazy right now. Um, I just bleached it. It's very yellow. I don't plan on toning it because I'm immediately going to dye it. Um, but it's wet right now because I just washed the bleach out before recording. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't dye white hair. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, the fact that my hair, I've been dyeing my own hair since I was like 15. Um, I, the fact that my ends have not broken, the fact that my hair has not fried in the, what, eight years that I've been dyeing my own hair and bleaching my own hair is a miracle. It is a mystery that I don't understand, but I'm not going to question it because the fact that I've gone this long without my hair being completely damaged is, it's great. Like I said, it's a miracle and I'm, I'm okay with it. Like I, I'd rather, I'd rather my hair still be healthy after all the damage that I've done to it. You know, um, I think part of it is because I use a lot of, um, to, to my main thing is like, I don't really just bleach it like there are times where i've just bleached and gone blonde like i have for the last couple of months um but usually i dye it with like a semi-permanent uh dye and those are usually very conditioning so that's probably what it well i mean i've only been doing that for like two or three years so i actually don't know about the years before that that my hair was in perfect condition well not perfect i had split ends in high school but like it wasn't dry you know, and it wasn't fried, it wasn't, you know, breaking off, like, stretchy, um, like, melting, melting, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, because my hair has been through a fucking lot, um, I, 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 I would walk you through the entire history of my hair colors, but, like, I don't even fucking remember at this point, I, I just, I just go back and forth. I don't even, I think the longest I've gone with the color since I started dyeing my hair is maybe two years, uh, where I was, I believe, like an auburn reddish brown. Yeah, I did that. I did that one for a while, for a long ass time. Um, and then I went back to blonde. Literally, I, in high school specifically, because I could only do natural colors, uh, I would go back and forth between dark and light. So the fact that my hair wasn't fried then is more impressive than the fact that it's not fried now, even though I'm using straight, like, bleach powder. But, like, back then I was using box dye. So, like, that's a whole other thing. Uh, that being said, speaking of box dyes, if you're going to dye your hair, a, like, a fun color, please don't use splat. I know it's, like relatively affordable compared to other colorful alternatives um but please don't use it it's carpet dye it is quite literally carpet dye like i'm not exaggerating exaggerating it is carpet dye it will it will destroy your hair it will not come out um please don't use it just use a semi-permanent although like i mean some colors do stain like blues and greens and reds those definitely stain, um, but you can work with that because they do fade over time and you can like, what I've done in the past because I like doing blue, um, when it starts fading but it's still stained, um, I'll just add like pink on top of it or red on top of it. No, well, not red, but pink. I'll add pink on top of it because it turns purple and it's still pretty. Like, you can work with that. With splat, no, it's not going to do that. It's not going to do that. It's going to wreck you. Um, but that being said, still be careful with hair dyes. 
um, do, do some research before you start it. Um, I have learned as I've gone, but like I learned a lot from YouTube and just from Googling every question I've ever had about dyeing my own hair so that I don't fuck up. Um, yeah, why did I just go on a fucking tangent about that? That's not what y'all like. Anyways, I mean, y'all did come here for my stream of consciousness, so. Um, I have decided that I am going to, like, hopefully start a journal, because I do need to write down my thoughts sometimes, because I just, they be going off sometimes. Like, specifically, um, after the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer dropped, I was so excited, because if you guys didn't know, Spider-Man's my favorite uh, superhero. I love Spider-Man more than anything. Um, I have quite a few Spider-Man things over my bedroom. Um, I wrote like six, seven, eight sticky notes worth of notes about this trailer and thoughts that I had. Because after I first watched it, I was like, oh, wait, I have a couple questions. I should write those down. So I grabbed one sticky note and then it just kept adding up. And I was like, well, I should have just grabbed a fucking notebook. But it's too, too late now, so now I have a stack of sticky notes with thoughts about the Spider-Man trailer, um, which I'm not going to get into. Um, I don't think I've reviewed a Marvel movie or, like, any any of those kinds of, like, big releases. I purposely haven't. Uh, like, I didn't record Black Widow for a reason. I don't plan on reviewing The Eternals for that reason because uh, it's going to be overdone and I don't want to, like... I don't want to bother down with that, but I most likely will still, you know, review Spider-Man in January. But I don't know. I haven't gotten to that far. Um, I have, though. I have planned up until December. So we are all good. We are all planned out until December, unless one of the movies I picked gets postponed again, which I doubt. But uh, as of now, we are, we are good for the rest of the year. Um, I'll cross the bridge of 2022 when I get there. Um, it's insane how we're literally almost done with our second year of pandemic. Anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, that's not why we're here. We're here for streaming wars. We're new here. This is the episode starting off each month where I go through every streaming service. Well, just about every streaming service, uh, as well as theaters and the Criterion Collection to announce what is releasing on all those things each month. Uh, so obviously this month we're gonna be focusing on what's releasing in September. Some of them will already be out obviously um, because this episode is dropping on the 7th unless you're listening on Patreon at patreon.com slash lucky peach you will get this episode on August 31st. So it's kind of awkward with like the first of the month being the day after like an episode from the previous month released but it is what it is. I like my method and my scheduling for this podcast, so I'm going to keep it this way. Um, yeah, but um, we'll just jump into it, because I'm, I, if, if I don't, I'm going to keep rambling, and we're not going to get anywhere, and as we learned last month, sometimes these lists are very fucking long, and they take up a lot of time, so <clears throat> starting off with Netflix. Um, I don't really go on Netflix much. I really don't. Um, I'm I'm in a on like a horror kick right now, and Netflix really ninety percent, well ninety five percent of their horror movies are paranormal, supernatural, demonic shit, and I'm like, that's overdone. I don't really care. I don't care for that. Um, so I I don't go on Netflix that much. But that being said, on September twenty first, what the fuck is on my desk? Um, September 1st, we have Agatha Christie's Crooked House, um, uh, Anjom, uh, Barbie, Big City, Big Dreams, that is a 2021 release. Uh, then we have Brave the Animated Series Season 1, um, not related to the Pixar movie Brave. This is an adult animated series about superheroes cool you know we already have harley quinn so we don't need another one of those no offense netflix but 
might put something original for them. It's Netflix. Just kidding, they won't. Uh, then we have uh, Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles, Green Lantern, House Party, How to Be a Cowboy, Netflix original, that's season one. Um, El Patron, Radiografia de un Crimen, or The Boss, Anatomy of Crime. Uh, HQ Barber, season one. Uh, Letters to Juliet, level 16, Los Carcamales, or Oldsters, season one, uh, Kitty Cats, season two, Kuroko's, Kuroko's uh, Basketball, season three, Marshall, Turning Point, 9-11 and the War on Terror, season one, uh, Netflix original talkie series, and uh, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. On September 2nd, we have a uh, Netflix original film, Afterlife of the Party, and then Here and There, Hotel de Luna, Season 1, Q4, Season 1, Netflix original series, and The Guardian. Uh, September 3rd, we have Dive Club, Season 1, Netflix original, uh, Money Heist, Season 5, Part 1, Shark Dog, Season 1, Netflix original, um, Netflix original film, Worth, On September 5th, we have Bunked, Season 5. September 6th, uh, Netflix original uh, Countdown Inspiration for Mission to Space. That's some shit about SpaceX, so I don't care. Uh, And then Shadow Parties. September 7th, uh, If I Leave Here Tomorrow, a film about Leonard Skinner. Uh, Season 2, Netflix original series, Kid, Kid Cosmic. Uh, season one, Netflix original series, Octonauts, Above and Beyond. Season one, Netflix original series, On the Verge. And Netflix original documentary, Untold Breaking Point. September 8th, uh, season eight of Chota Bean. Uh, season two of Netflix original series, Into the Night. Um, Netflix original film, JJ plus E. Winterviken, Swedish. Swedish movie. Uh, anyways, uh, Show Dogs, and then oh, season three of The Circle. They're they're releasing two seasons a year now. They're releasing a second season this year. That's nice. Well, it's the third season, but like last year, they only released one season. That's amazing. I'm excited for that. Um, September 9th. Uh, Netflix original documentary, Blood Brothers, Malcolm X, and Muhammad Ali. Uh, Netflix original documentary, The Women and the Murderer. Uh, Netflix original film, Fire Drake and the Silver Dragon on September 10th. Sorry, I forgot to say the date. September 10th. Uh, Netflix original film, Kate. Uh, Season 6 of Lucifer. Just the final season of Lucifer. Um, Season 1, Netflix original series, Metal Shop Masters. Omo Gero, the saga, uh, part one of the Netflix original series, Pokemon Master Journey, um, Netflix original film, Prey, and Tatipo Tatipo, season two. September 13th, uh, Crime Stories, India Detective, season one. September 14th, uh, Netflix original season two of the world's most amazing vacation rentals. Uh, Netflix original uh interactive survival special you versus wild out cold um i watched the first well i don't know if they've done another you versus wild but the one that came out in like 2018 i believe i i did that one that one i'll be honest it's it's more geared towards kids it's not very entertaining as an adult no lie um then we have september 15th um more episodes of Countdown Inspiration for Mission to Space. Uh, Netflix original series season six of Nailed It. Netflix original film uh, Nightbooks. Netflix original documentary Schumacher. Uh, season one, Netflix original Too Hot to Handle Latino. September 16th, Birth of the Dragon. Uh, season one of the original series, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You know, that one was, that's uh, highly anticipated. Um, Netflix original documentary, My Heroes Were Cowboys. 
Safe House, uh, season one of The Smart Money Woman. September 17th, um, Netflix original, I apologize if I mispronounce this, uh, Ankahi Kahania, uh, season one of Netflix original series, Chicago Party Ant, uh, season three of the Netflix original Sex Education, season one of the Netflix original Squid Game, season one of the Netflix original Tayo and the Little Wizards, and Netflix original uh, The Stronghold. September 22nd, Netflix original film uh, Confessions of an Invisible Girl, season four of the Netflix original Dear White People, September 23rd, uh, Netflix original a movie, a storybot space adventure, uh, September 24th, season one of the Netflix original Ganglands, uh, season one of the Netflix original Midnight Mass, and season, oh, no, 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 it's a movie, Netflix original movie, uh, My Little Pony, a New Generation. They changed the animation style again. That is not Pinkie Pie. Uh, September 28th, uh, season one of Netflix original, Out of Twist, Scientist, or Ada Twist, Scientist. Uh, September 29th, uh, Netflix original film, Sounds Like Love. And finally, September 30th, season two of the Netflix original series, uh, Love 101. That is everything for Netflix. Um, I might watch the My Little Pony thing. It just, but like they changed it. So like, why the fuck? Why? Why? Anyways, uh, moving, <laughs> moving on to my personal favorite streaming service, HBO Max. On September 1st, uh, bear with me, we have a long list. Uh, September 1st, we have a Hijacking, The Animal, Army of Darkness, The Bench Warmers, Boras de Oro, aka The Anniversary, The Cell 2, Cloverfield, Dead Again, Deck the Halls, Detour, Drinking Buddies, Epic Movie, Extended Edition, Event Horizon, The Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Flawless, The Forgotten, Fun Size, The Gallows, The Good German, The Good Heart, The Goonies, Green Lantern, Harry Potter is back on HBO, all of the movies. We don't talk about that because we know uh, here at the Lucky Speech, we have discussed previously how uh, HBO and Peacock uh, regularly cycle the Harry Potter films in and out of their services. You know, one month it's on HBO Max, one month it's on Peacock, one month it's on HBO Max, one month it's on Peacock, one month it's on HBO Max, one month it's on Paramount Plus. They, they just go back and forth and back and forth and it's fucking annoying um but i guess if they're coming back to hbo max that means i can continue watching them with my nephew continuing on uh imposter director's cut inheritance in the heart of the sea canny 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 garcia soyo in vivo king kong extended edition that's the good movie the peter jackson one uh lady in the water meet me in st louis mr nobody extended version my Golden Days, Nanny McPhee, Oblivion, On the Town, Ouija, Origin of Evil, Polly, The Poet of Havana, Prime, Prince Avalanche, Rake, and Vivo Desde el Auditorio Nacional, Rent, Romeo Santos, The King Stays King, Live at Madison Square Garden, Santana Corazon, Life from Mexico, Live It to Believe It, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, Severance, Showdown in Little Tokyo, The Song Remains the Same, Taken to Extended Diversion, Dalia, Viva, Tor, and Vivo. That's Entertainment, That's Entertainment 2, That's Entertainment 3, Transformers, Undisputed, Vanilla Sky, View from the Top, What They Had, What Women Want, and Yondel Legacy, The Leader, Ale and the Tour. On September 2nd, Adventure Times, Distant Land, List Distant Lands, Wiz Wi Wizard City, Max Original Special Premiere, uh, Sweet Life, Los Angeles, Max Original Season Finale, September 3rd, Amaraika, 
uh, at last, B2 coffee shop names and Liberty Kid, uh, not the show Liberty Kids. It's just, I think, a movie called Liberty Kid. I don't think it's related to the show. Um, September 4th, News of the World. September 7th, Hard Knocks 21, Dallas Cowboys season finale. September 8th, Neskiturus. Uh, that's a movie. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, September 9th, Mad Max Fury Road. Isn't it already on there? I don't know. Uh, Sweet Life, Los Angeles, Max Original Reunion Special. Uh, Mortal Kombat is coming back. Take HBO Max. Uh, September 10th, Elite from Earth, Season 1. Malignant, film premiere. That's one of the dual premieres with HBO Max and in theaters. Uh, September 11th, oof. Uh, Ben 10, season 4C, uh, NYC Epicenters 9-11, 2021 and a half, documentary series finale. The hell? Oh, it's been 20 years. Anyways, uh, Walker season one, I'm sorry. Um, season, uh, September 12th threw me off. Real, that realization threw me off completely. Uh, September 12th. Scenes from a Marriage, limited series premiere, not the Ingvar Bergman movie. It's a series. I don't know if it's related to the movie. Uh, September 13th, Care Bears Unlock the Magic. I'm Sorry. Uh, that's a movie called I'm Sorry. Uh, not related to the Care Bears thing. Uh, Little Ellen, Max original series premiere. September 15th, A La Calle. Uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. September 16th, Taken Seek, Max Original Season 3 premiere. September 17th, Apple and Onion Season 2B. Uh, Cry Macho, Warner Brothers Film premiere. Uh, El Cuartito, HBO movie. Uh, Superman and Lois Season 1. September 18th, The People vs. The Clan. September 20th, Hard Season 3 finale. And Total Drama Rama. September 21st, Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Uh, September 23rd, Ahir Shah Dots, Max Original Special Premiere, Doom Patrol, Max Original Season 3 Premiere, The Other Two, Max Original Season 2 Premiere. Or Finale, Finale, sorry. Uh, September 25th, fuck yes, Promising Young Woman, go fucking watch that. All September 25th, go watch this fucking movie. It's great. Um, we love Emerald Fennell. Uh September 26th, Nuclear Family, Documentary Series Premiere. September 27th, West Bed Americana, Americano, aka the American Guest series premiere, Little Sky, uh, Neh, and Unmothered. Those are three uh, Asian Pacific American shorts. Um, September 29th, Entre Hombres, aka Amongst Men series premiere. And September 30th, The Not Too Late Show with Elmo, Max Original Season 2 premiere. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ten Year Old Tom, Max Original Series premiere. Those Who Wish Me Dead, uh, The Way Down, Max Original Series premiere, and Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs Match Original Theory the premiere. I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited about Promising Young Woman coming to HBO Max. I've already seen it, but like, it's still exciting, you know. It's a great movie. Well, moving on to who. Hulu, we have another long list. So for Hulu, on September 1st, we have 50-50, A Fish Called Wanda, Anaconda, Angel Unchained, The Apparition, At Earth's Core, Blue City, Bill Durham, Butch Cassidy, and the Sundance Kid. We love Robert Redford. Uh, Canon for Cordoba, Cellar Dweller, Cold Creek Manor, Count Yorgo, Yorga, Vampire, Crazy Heart, Dunwich Horror, Edward Scissorhands, El Dorado, Election, Exterminator 2, Free Willy, Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home, Free Willy 3, The Rescue, Free Willy, Escape from Pirate's Cove, Friday the 13th, Part 3, Friday the 13th, Part 4, The Final Chapter, Fright Night, Gattaca, Girls, 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 The Glass House, Gross Point Blank, Hitman, Agent 47, Hoosiers, I Spit on Your Grave, I Spit on Your Grave 2, I Spit on Your Grave 3. Those are all um, the recent ones, not the 
original that we reviewed in the very first episode of Cult of the Month back in April. Um, the 2010 and 2000, the 2010 is a remake, reboot, whatever. Um, the 2013 I Spit on Your Grave 2 is a sequel to that, and I Spit on Your Grave 3 is a direct sequel to the original film uh, from the 70s. Right? I don't know. I reviewed it on the podcast and I can't even remember what year it came out. Anyways, yeah. Um, next we have Internal Affairs, The Interview, Jacob Slatter, Just Between Friends, The Killer Elite, Kiss the Girls, The Last Castle, Magic Mike, The Manchurian Candidate, The Mexican, McLintock, Producer's Cut. The fuck is a Producer's Cut? Ever seen that before? Uh, miss You Already, Mommy. Mosquito Squadron, Mr. North, Much Ado About Nothing, New Year's Eve, Nixon, Office Space, The Omen, the original film, The Omen from 1976, uh, The Patsy, Phase 4, The Possession, Priest, Raising Arizona, The Ring, Road to Perdition, Salvador, Secret Admirer, Shaun the Sheep movie, Slumdog Millionaire, Solace, Stephen King's It, uh, the 1990 uh, mini-series with Tim Curry, fucking legend. Uh, Sucker Punch, Tears of the Sun, The Tenant, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride, Tyler Perry's The Family That Prays, Under Fire, Vantage Point, Volcano, The Wedding Plan, The Wrestler, The X-Files. Uh, September 2nd, um, complete season four of the Hulu original Trolls, Trollstopia, uh, Death in Texas, the Unthinkable. September 3rd, we have complete season one of the Hulu original, The D'Amelio Show. Oh, gross. I hated that as I read it. <laughs> like, all I was, I focused my attention solely on complete season one of the Hulu original, and then I look over and it says The D'Amelio Show, and I'm just like, ugh, we don't need that. They don't need a reality show. I'm sorry, but they don't. Um, uh, then we have uh, What We Do in the Shadows, season three premiere. Bolden and Undyne. September 4th, Flower. September 8th, uh, Hulu original season 2 premiere of Wu-Tang, an American saga, and La La Land. September 10th, uh, The Killing of Two Lovers and Transporter 3. September 11th, High Ground. Uh, September 13th, Why the Last Man, a uh, three-episode series premiere, and Colette. September 15th, uh, Dark Side of the Ring, Season 3B, uh, Joseph King of Dreams, Love, Simon, and Maze Runner, The Death Cure. Uh, September 16th, uh, The Premise, Series Premiere, Stalker, uh, 2021. Don't know if, I don't think that's related to the um, Andrei Tarkovsky movie. Shout out to Raul. And his dog, Andre. Not so shout out to Deadpool. Anyways, um, On Chessel Beach and Riders of Justice. September 18th, Dark Side of the Football. Dark Side of Football. Complete Season 1. September 20th, Grown Ups. September 21st, 911 series five, or Season 5 premiere. Uh, the Big Leap season, Series premiere. Uh, Dancing with the Stars Season 20 premiere. Ordinary Joe series premiere, The Voice season 21 premiere, September 22nd, um, New Amsterdam series season 4 premiere, Our Kind of People series premiere, The Resident season 5 premiere, September 23rd, A Million Little Things season 4 premiere, um, Alter Ego series premiere, Chicago Fire se season 10 premiere, Chicago Med Season 7 premiere, Chicago PD, Season 9 premiere, The Connors, Season 4 premiere, The Goldbergs, Season 9 premiere, Home Economics, Season 2 premiere, The Masked Singer, Season 6. They're already on Season 6 of this, of The Masked Singer? God damn, they work fast. Um, the Wonder Years season, series premiere, uh, The Eric Andre Show, Complete Season 5, and Funhouse. September 24th, Law & Order Organized Crime Season 2 premiere, Law & Order SVU Season 23 premiere, and An American Haunting. Uh, September 25th, uh, Gemini 
September 27th, uh, Bob's Burgers season 12 premiere. I remember when Bob's Burgers first started airing. Like, I remember, like, I don't know what I was watching. I was watching Fox or something. And I was watching something, and they're like, here's a first look at the new show, Bob's Burgers. And it showed, like, uh, like the first scene of the first episode. Never forget. Anyways, they're already on season 12. Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune season 2 premiere. Family Guy season 20 premiere. The Great North season 2 premiere. The Rookie season 4 premiere. The Simpsons season 33 premiere. Uh, Supermarket Sweep season 2 premiere. September 28th, The Good Doctor season 4 premiere. Felix and the Hidden Treasure home run. September 29th, La Brea season series premiere, minor premise, and minor premise. Uh, and September 30th, we have New Order. I don't know about y'all, but I hate reading the Hulu list because they are exhausting and they confuse my brain because I have to go back and forth between the words series and season. Moving on, though. Um, I've been going on Hulu a little bit more recently. Um but generally I don't go on there that much unless I am watching Cowboy Bebop or Peep Show, which I haven't done recently. Well, I did. I watched an episode of Peep Show the other day. I love Peep Show, you guys. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's a great show. Uh, moving on, though, to Disney+. Plus. Uh, September 1st, Behind the Scenes of Growing Up Animal. Uh, September 2nd, Dark Phoenix, Smoky Mountain Park Rangers, Tomorrowland, and Happier Than Ever, A Love Letter to Los Angeles. September 8th, um, Disney Junior Mira, Royal Detective Season 2, uh, Disney's Pepper Ann Seasons 1 through 3, uh, The Incredible Dr. Pole Season 19, uh, The Wizard of Paws Season 1, and Doogie Kameola, Alo Kameoloha, MD. That does not sound right. Um, sounds like a white person came up with that. Um, September 10th, Disney Far Away from Raymond's Home. Oh, um, okay. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides and 20-something. September 15th, uh, Disney Junior Ready for Preschool Season 2. Life Below Zero, Next Generation Season 16. Uh, Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir Season 4. Unknown Waters with Jeremy Wade Season 1. I just realized this doesn't have individual episodes like it usually does. The only show that I know that's continuing on into September is What If. Continue, whatever, though. Um, ba, 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 ba. September 17th, Confessions of a Shopaholic, Disney Descendants, The Royal Wedding, Disney's Broadway Hits at London's Royal Albert Hall, Royal Albert Hall, uh, Flooded Tombs of the Nile, Jade-Eyed Leopard and Nona, September 22nd, Dog Impossible Season 2, and Spidey and His Amazing Friends Season 1, September 24th, Spooky Buddies, The Fault in Our Stars, and A Spark Story, and September 29th, uh, Disney's Magic Bake Off Season 1, Disney Junior Muppet Baby Season 3, Disney Junior Ready for Preschool Season 1, Disney Junior Vampirina Season 3, uh, Great Barrier Reef Season 1, The Hatcher Family Diary Season 1, and I'm excited about this one. Roly Poly Oli Seasons 1 through 5. Haha. -ha. Um, yeah, I'm only excited about continuing with uh, Marvel's What If, as well as I'm excited with Roly Poly Oli coming at the end of the month. I love Roly Poly Oli. It's a great show. It's a fantastic fucking show. Continuing on. I'm going to drink some water real quick, though. My throat is dry. I just spilled it on myself. It's cold. Well, it's room temperature water, but, you know, when your legs, you know, the human body is warm. So when you spill room temperature water on warm legs, it's cold. Anyways. Continuing on. Amazon Prime. Am Amazon Prime video. I also have not been on here that much. I don't think I even I haven't been on here much since like fucking Good Omens came out. Um, 
which is getting a season two. I think that's released it next year or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, but anyways, on Amazon Prime Video, September 1st, another long list, uh, 500 Days of Summer, 21 Grams, American Me, Apollo 13, Arachnophobia, Armageddon, As Good As It Gets, Big Mamas Like Father Like Son, Can't Hardly Wait, Cirque de Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, uh, Closer, Daddy Daycare, Daredevil, Daredevil Director's Cut, uh, Death at a Funeral, Do the Right Thing, Grown Ups, Heist, I'll Always Know What You Did What You did Last Summer, I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, it's a long fucking title, um, I Am Bolt, I Am Duran, I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jennifer's Body, fuck yeah. Uh, Natural Libre, Open Range, uh, uh, Planet of the Apes. I I mixed up Open Range with Open Season. Uh, Planet of the Apes, uh, 2001. Uh, Predators, Romeo and Juliet, 1996. Uh, Rudy, Sicko, Sleepless in Seattle, Soul Food, Stuart Little, written by M. Night Shyamalan, uh, Stuart Little 2. The Alamo, The A-Team, The A-Team Extended Cut, The Best Man, The Boy, The Descendant, or The Descent, uh, The Host, uh, uh, The Karate Kid, The Kids Are All Right, Last of the Mohicans, The Omen, 2006, the remake, uh, The Social Network, The Unborn, The Unborn Unrated, Traffic, Year One, Young Frankenstein, Feeling Home, uh, Ancient Civilizations of North America, Season One, uh, August Creek, Craig Ross Jr.'s Monogamy Season 1, Creep Show Season 1, Forensic Factor Season 1, Land Girl Season 1, Latino American Season 1, Mail Call Season 1, Native Peoples of North America Season 1, Republic of Doyle Season 1, The Bastards of Pis Piso Falcon Falcone uh, Season 1, The Blood Pact Season 1, The Flintstones Season 1, the Killing Season 1, and We'll Meet Again Season 1. On September 3rd uh, is uh, the Amazon original movie Cinderella with Camila, Camila Cabello. Uh, September 10th, um, Amazon original film The Voyeurs and Am Amazon original limited series Lula Rich. Fuck, I swear to God, I think that's about Lula Roe. Gross. Although I do like hearing about MLMs. I like hearing about how fucked up they are, but I don't like them. Um, don't give in to multi-level marketing companies, okay? Okay. Anyways, uh, September 12th, Desperado. September 17th, um, Amazon original movie, Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Uh, Amazon original movie, The Mad Women's Ball. Um, American Trader, The Trial of Access Sally. And Amazon original series, season one, Do Ray and Me. And finally, September 24th, Amazon Original Series Season 4, Goliath. And that is all for things releasing on streaming services. Um, if you're new here, I don't go over every single streaming service because I don't care to. But also, those are the most popular ones. So those are the ones that I... Uh, those are the ones that I... Um, um, those are the ones that I talk about. Moving on, though, to everything that's releasing in theaters in September. Are you all ready? Theaters are more open. More things are coming out in theaters. So, yeah. Although, going back to the streaming services, maybe I should add Showtime. I don't know. I've been on there a lot recently um, because A24 movies are on there. They also have some good stuff. Um, I recently watched United States of Terror. I don't know. Um, let me know if you want me to include Showtime or any other streaming services. But other than that, I'm just going to continue the most popular ones. But yeah, let's go. Uh, movies releasing in September in theaters. Um, on September 3rd, Happier Than Ever, A Love Letter to Los Angeles. Um, September 3rd, we also have The J Team. Uh, what else? Uh, also on September 3rd, we have The Gateway in Yakuza Princess in Cinderella. Um, September 5th, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is going to be in theaters for whatever reason. 
Um, what else? What else? What else? On September 10th, the card counter, as well as Come From Away and Bad Candy. Um, let's see what else we got. We also have Kate on September 10th and Malignant. Um, let's see what else. Um, what else is coming out? Uh, ba, 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 ba. This one does not have too, too much. On September 17th, we have The Eyes of Tammy Faye and uh, Night of the Animated... Oh, that's on the 21st. On the 21st, Night of the Animated Dead. Um, on the 23rd, The Exorcism of God. The 24th, it says The Tragedy of Macbeth, but I know that that's just the, uh, the uh, Toronto Film Festival festival uh release date that's not the official release date so the tragedy of Macbeth will not be in theaters on that day that is the day that it will be in the film festival anyways uh also on the 24th dear evan hansen and the french dispatch from wes anderson get excited anyways um also on the 24th uh my little pony a new generation and that's all for in theaters. Still not a whole lot, but we're getting there. No big blockbusters this month. Um, I guess September is one of those awkward phases where like there's not a whole lot in theaters. It's mostly just like uh, like getting into horror. You know, starting next month we'll start getting into like stuff that's coming out for like awards uh, so hopefully it'll be more interesting um moving on to end the episodes i always announce what's being added to the criterion collection each month so in the month of september uh on september 14th um joining the criterion collection with spy number 107 is mona lisa 107 that doesn't sound right. Anyways, um, the brilliant breakthrough film by writer-director Neil Jordan journeys into the dark heart of the London underworld to weave a gripping noir-infused love story. Bob Hoskins received a multitude of honors, including an Oscar nomination, for his touchingly vulnerable, not-so-tough guy portrayal of George, recently released from prison and hired by a sinister mob boss to chauffeur call girl Simone between high-paying clients. Um, George's fascination with the elegant, enigmatic Simone leads him on a dangerous quest through the city's underbelly, where love is a weakness to ex to be exploited and betrayed. Jordan's colorful dialogue and eye for evocatively surreal details lend a dreamlike sheen to Mona Lisa, an unconventionally romantic tale of damaged people searching for tenderness in an unforgiving world. I didn't know they like gave, they did spines of like that low of a number. I like, cause they're like in the thousands now. I don't know. Um, on September 21st, uh, joining is Gina Prince by the woods. Um, love and basketball. Uh, spine number 1097. Sparks fly both on and off the court in this groundbreaking feature debut by writer-director Gina Prince by the wood. By the wood or by the wood? I don't know. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, which elevated the coming-of-age romance by giving honest expression to the challenges female athletes face in a world that doesn't see them as equal. Sana Lathan and Omar Epps make for one of the most iconic screen couples of the 2000s as the basketball-obsessed next-door neighbors who find love over flirtatious pickup games fall apart under the strain of high-pressure college hoops and families and drift in and out of each other's lives as they pursue their twin aspirations of playing professionally. Aided by stellar st supporting performances and an eclectic R&B soundtrack, Love in Basketball captures the intoxicating passions, heartbreaking setbacks, and sky-high ambitions that mark a young woman's journey to the top of her game and to lasting love. Also, on September 21st, we have uh, Johnny Toe's Throwdown, spine number 1092. One of the most personal films by the prolific Hong Kong amateur, auto, uh, not amateur, auteur, uh, Johnny Toe, is a thrilling love letter to both the cinema of Akira Kurosawa and the art and philosophy of judo. 
Amid the neon-drenched nightclubs and gambling dens of Hong Kong's nocturnal underworld, the fates of three wandering souls, a former judo champion now barely scraping by as an alcoholic bar owner, a young fighter intent on challenging him, and a singer chasing dreams of stardom, collide in an operatic explosion of human pain, ambition, perseverance, and redemption. Paying offbeat homage, homage to Kurosawa's debut feature, Sanchiro, Sanchiro Sugata, Toast Ramble's wild comedy, flights of lyrical surrealism, and rousing martial arts action into what is ultimately a disarmingly touching ode to the healing power of friendship. I wonder if I'll ever get through an episode without fucking up my words, without, like, being tongue-tied. Um, moving on, though. On September 28th, uh, we have Martin Van Peebles' Essential Films. Director, writer, composer, actor, and one-man creative revolutionary Melvin Van Peebles. Peebles uh, jolted American independent cinema to a new life with his explosive stylistic energy and unfiltered expression of black consciousness. Though he undeniably altered the course of film history with the anarchic sweet sweat, sweet, sweet, sweet bags, badass song, uh, that pop culture bombshell is just one piece of a remarkably varied career that has also encompassed forays into European art cinema, mainstream Hollywood comedy, and Broadway musicals. Each facet of Van Peebles's renegade genius is on display in this collection of four films, a tribute to a transformative artist whose caustic social observ observation, radical formal, radical formal innovation, and uncompromising vision established a new cinematic model for Black creative independence. Also included in the set is Badass, a chronicle of the production of Sweet Sweetback, made by Van Peebles' son, Mario Van Peebles. This, and starring the younger Van Peebles as Melvin. Continuing on. Oh, there's a sale today. Oh, I don't have any money. The day, on the day that I'm recording this, there is a sale on the Criterion Collection website. But I don't have any money. Um, yeah. I'm having the money for chicken nuggets. Uh, also on 28th. Um, <laughs> we have Lucino Visconti's The Damned, spine number 1098. Uh, the most savagely subversive film by the iconoclastic auteur Lucino Visconti employs the mechanics of deliriously stylized melodrama to portray Nazism, Nazism's total corruption of the soul. In the wake of Hitler's ascent to power, the wealthy industrialist von Essenbeck family and their associates, including the scheming social climber Friedrich, the conniving matriarch Sophie, and the cruelly deviant heir Martin, uh, descend into a self-destructive spiral of decadence, greed, perversion, and all-consuming hatred as they vie for power over the family business and over one another. The heightened performances of Anne Visconti's luridly expressionistic use of technicolor conjure garish, garish world of decaying opulence in which one family's downfall comes to stand for the moral rot of a nation. Um, so that is all for this joining for what's joining the Criterion Collection in September. And that concludes another episode of Streaming Wars. Ah! Woo! Woo! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, anyways, um, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for, 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 for um, uh, withstanding me for 23 episodes for five months. It's only going to get better. Just kidding. It's only going to get worse. Anyways, um, you can find me everywhere at Lucky Peach, L-V-C-K-Y Peach. Um, if you go to uh, any of my socials, there is a link tree to make it easier for you to find me places. That link tree includes my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, my Patreon, patreon.com slash Lucky Peach, Letterboxd, YouTube, and Twitch. Um, yeah. Um, I am working on having some stickers coming out soon. Um, I will give you an update uh through Twitter, most likely, uh, and in uh, one of the next episodes on uh, updates about those stickers. Um, 
Yes, I am most active on Twitter. So uh, that is most likely where you're going to see most news about the podcast from me. Um, that being said, thank you to my patrons at patreon.com slash Lucky Peach, Brad, Luis, Gio, and Abby. I love you. Thank you. Uh, you can join Patreon at patreon.com slash Lucky Peach. You get each episode a week early, as well as um, if you are on a, depending on which tier you're on, you also get video access to each episode. Uh, so you can actually watch me look stupid. Um, yeah, so go check that out. As well as some other, there's some other perks as well, depending on which tier you join. My page on a comp social key peach. Um, yeah, I will see you. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to announce what the movies are for this month. I'm a dumbass. Um, I was supposed to just go right into it. Um, and next week for Cult of the Month, we have The Stepford Wives, uh, the 1975 film. Um, for the monthly review, we have Annette, and for the drunk commentary, we will be watching Ma. Um, because I noticed that, like, all but one of the drunk commentaries are movies from 2019, and so I kind of was like, let me do another 2019 movie. Uh, tell me your favorite year in film without telling me your favorite year in film. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll be watching Ma. Don't make me drink the phone. Anyways, that being said, I will see you guys next week for Cults of the Month as we review uh, The Stepford Wives. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay peachy.